Chapter 14 The Magic Coin and the Lemonade Stunt Scene Olivia has a lemonade stunt. Noh is drinking a cup of lemonade. Noh, you make amazing lemonade. Olivia, what? I just wanted to tell you that. Well, thanks. I try to say one nice thing each day. And today, it's for you. That's a good way to be. Try to keep it nice. My grandpa taught me that. He sounds like a good man. The best. Well, you're lucky to have him. If only more people had someone like that. I don't think I have had a good compliment in a long time. That's just wrong. People should be nice. Everyone deserves to be treated with respect. Respect but there ain't none for me. I keep hoping if I do enough kind things it will catch on and grow. I keep picturing a better world around me and then I do little things to try and make it that way. What do you see for our street here? Trees, lots of trees. And a cleaner park. And no more rent payments for the Williams family. I heard they were getting kicked out of their house. Their mom lost her job and the dad isn't around anymore. That's sad. I wonder what they are going to do. There is no free rides in life. You owe me a dollar for that lemonade. No tosses some coins on the counter. There you go. What's this? Throwing some gold and silver in my way? This is a Sakagavia dollar and two fifty cent pieces. I love old coins. My grandpa gives them to me. One more cup of lemonade, please. These are cool. Sometimes they are worth more than their face value. Then, why give them away? It's no fun to keep it all to myself. I like to share. Everyone needs to share more. I think I had beaten out of me. My family and I play Monopoly and it brings out the worst in me. I have to win it all and be in total control of the board. I want all the money and love crushing my competition. But all of my brothers and sisters are that way too. We had so many fights over that game that my dad finally set the board on fire. On fire? He tossed it in the fireplace along with all the Monopoly money. All we had left the little homes and hotels. What do you do with them? We use them like poker chips and play poker. No way. Then dad burned the cards. That's too funny. And some of it might be true. So, what did you dream about doing with your life? Win Monopoly. Besides that. Win the lottery. You have a winning attitude. I want to be a winner. I'm just not sure what I want to win. Anything. But so far, nothing. You win every day, you're alive. I guess so. I win every time. I have a great cup of lemonade like this one. I suppose that's your way of telling me you want a refill. Maybe. Olivia pours him another cup. So. You have any dreams, ones that don't involve winning the lottery. You're very chatty today, aren't you? Your customers don't usually hang out and talk. I don't mind. I mean I see you around all the time, but usually you're pretty quiet. Sitting by a tree, or under a tree, and you always have that notebook. You, doodle. I write stories. You write stories, on purpose? For fun. Weird. I love writing. But today, I feel like talking. I think I'm having writer's block. Anyway, talking might help. Imagine me helping someone write. What's strange about that? I can't really write. I get bad grades in English. Teachers wouldn't like my stories. They are pretty crazy. It must be fun to have a talent. I'm not good at anything. You make the best lemonade. I guess. I bet you are good at other things too, like Monopoly. If only the real world were as easy to figure out as Monopoly. There aren't many good chance cards in the real world, and I don't collect $200 every time I pass go. But hopefully, you don't get to jail as often either. No, just visiting. 
What if I told you one of those coins I paid you with was worth a lot of money? Olivia gathers them and looks at them. Really? What would you do with it? I think I'd help the Williams family keep their house so their mom didn't have to worry anymore. I wish people didn't have to worry like that. Imagine losing your home. That must be so horrible. No pulls out some more cons. What are you doing? I feel like granting some wishes tonight. You are my fairy godmother or something. Fairy godfather. You're serious. No pulls out a specific con. This is the one we need. Said in a mysterious voice, what's special about this one, fairy godfather? It's magic. Magic? When the time is right, make a wish and maybe it will come true. What if I wish for world peace? Well, fairy godfathers have limits. No wishing for more wishes. I can't kill anyone. I can't make anyone fall in love and I can't do world peace. You're not a very powerful fairy godfather. There is so little magic left in the world except for this con. Whenever I find a little bit of magic, I tuck it away for just the right occasion. Is that a nickel? A very special nickel, the 1913 Liberty nickel. I thought 13 was an unlucky number. But 1913 is very lucky. It was the year of the very first crossword puzzle and the prize for being the first person to solve that puzzle, a nickel. But not just any nickel. This nickel, the Liberty nickel. The magic Liberty nickel. Correct. And what is this magic nickel worth, fairy godfather? More than a nickel. My grandpa gave it to me and said it was very special and to save it for something really important. I think the Williams is important enough, don't you? So, what do we do? Do we have to spend the magic nickel before midnight? How about I give you some more sakagavia and we will take the rest of the lemonade over to the Williams kids? What about the magic coin? Should we give it to Mrs. Williams? If we don't help her, who will? I don't know. You're a good neighbor, no. Like my grandpa always says, unless someone likes you care a whole awful lot. Nothing is going to get better, it's not. Well, I don't think he made that up, but he said it a lot. I like that. Let's take your magic coin and make things better. They take the lemonade and exit.